Hello and welcome back. It's been a while since I've last uploaded. I've been very busy and I'll talk about it a bit more today when I've been driving. However, we are doing an evening run today. Uh, I haven't really recorded one of these in a long time. They're always like morning runs, early rises and stuff like that. But no, we're at 3 o'clock out, 2.30 start, uh, currently running on time. Just done the van checks and I'm now about to load the van. So let's get the van loaded, let's get on the road and we'll do some chatting on the way over towards where we are going, which is about a 20 mile drive or so for the first drop before when we go to the store to drop off some click and collect orders for them. So let's get to it. So here we are, finally back on the way uh, on a video for once. Um, I haven't done a video in about, what, three months now? It's been quite a while. However, I do plan to start doing these a bit more consistently. Uh, quite a bit's been going on with uni and um, obviously a lot of the other stuff I do. So I haven't really had a chance to put stuff together. I've been to Norway last week and I have some videos from there I'm gonna share. Mainly just about driving a Tesla and how I found that and driving on the other side of the road for the first time you know it's still driving related so I guess it's kind of kind of relevant eh um, but yeah so today on, we are on a split run our first run is nine drops and our second is a couple more than nine I think uh, due to finish the total of both runs about half ten this evening so it's quite a late one to be honest um, but that's not too bad at all uh, a lot of the times on this channel, it's normally the morning runs that you end up seeing, it's not the evening ones, because when it gets dark, there's not a lot to see. But, you know, today we will see how we go with the weather and the light. Now, the weather's actually been quite nice today, it's been pretty nice and sunny. As you can see outside, it's uh, quite clear, it's quite nice. I've got my cap on, I barely wear my cap, but I guess now we're getting into spring and soon summer. I'm going to need to start wearing it a lot more. Short sleeve weather as well, no jacket today, and uh, yeah, I'll roll the windows down uh, after I make this clip just so I can uh, get the heat out of the cab, but it's quite warm as it's been sat in the sun, so without further ado, let's go get to the first drop, do that, and then we're off to the Asda store in Colville and um, in Leicestershire to do two drops there before going on to other people's houses. Yeah. When the weather's like this and you're not confined to being in a city and you get some more of rural routes, um, it certainly makes you quite happy that you're obviously out on the road and driving and so forth. You know, you, you could be stuck working in a shop or in a warehouse or something like that, but every job that I've had so far, I really don't think uh, I've enjoyed it as much as this because just look, when, when the weather's nice, you know, and the scenery's all right, and I've been to some places and it's just, it looks brilliant, looks fabulous in some of the country roads and top of the hills. And if we see any today, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to catch them. So yeah, but we're almost at our first drop. We'll get this done and then whiz off about another seven, eight miles down uh, the A42 towards Colville and um, get the store delivery done.
So that's the click and collects done and dusted, handed over to the relevant store. Now we have our second proper customer. Um, my GoPro's been messing up a bit. It, it hasn't been recording properly, so I don't know what footage I've got until I check it in a little bit. So hopefully I've got what I've been talking, otherwise it's just gonna be such a messy and muddled video. But um, yep, yeah, let's get to the next customer and get this done. So I've just had to walk a bit to do this delivery I've just done. Got back to the van, checked the run sheet, and I've noticed an extra dress doesn't normally have a lot of parking, and there's quite a bit on the order. As you can see here, we've got all of these totes, these, these entire two rows, and that one at the back of ambient. And then we'll probably also have a couple of chilled and at least a frozen for it. So this is going to be an interesting one. Might be two trips back to the van parking down the road or I might get lucky and actually get some parking outside the address. So I guess I'm about to go and find out right about now. So I've got one more delivery left of this run now, um, not too far away. Just opened my bag and found an iced coffee that's still in date, so I'm going to go whack it in the fridge. And that's the best part of driving around in a van with a fridge is uh, I can cool my own food down. So I whack this in and I can drink it in a bit, which is awesome. So that's the first run all complete, all unloaded, as you just seen, and now we have the second one. It's starting to get a little bit darker now, probably in the next hour it'll be dark. Uh, second run is, I don't know, we got more chilled than last time, but we have less ambient as you can see. So that's our chilled, got our frozen, and then this is our ambient here to load. So I'm just gonna whack it on the van and get straight back out, because it's almost time. So let's get to it. So I've just just done the first drop of this run. The uh, sun's gone in now. It's getting a little bit chillier outside. So I think it is time to put on the jacket and head over to another 20 miles away. This next one is uh, back to where it was earlier. So yep, I am simply gonna whack my jacket on and get driving to warm up a little bit. Because uh, it's starting to get goosebumps on the arms.
So just done our did it, fifth delivery out of 10 on this last run. Uh, I've got some apples and stuff from the shop earlier, which I think I'm gonna eat now. I've drank that coffee, it was very nice. I also got Mackey's earlier as well. That was very nice. We're gonna eat these. I've got eight and a half miles to our next delivery. Um, it has to be done before nine, which currently it is 8.30, so we are on time. So this next address is a bit of a pain to deliver to because it is located on a very narrow street with cars parked out of sight. There's nowhere to put them out. So what I have to do is, uh, what I like to do is pre-prep. So I'll get everything from the children in the frozen, put them together, so then I can just park the van outside the front, drop the stuff off, move the van down the road, walk back up, deal with any substitutes and any issues, and then go back down to the van. So make it nice and nice and easy, nice and quick. Have a drop, and then I can park the van somewhere. So yeah, let's uh, do this pre-prep. So as you can see, we've got our tote here for the chill. Move it over here. That's the other one for this address. And then go here. Check if there's any frozen water. I'll read this is too dark 363 what number are we on 361 so yeah it's just those two totes it's nice so i've got one more drop left now it looks to be about eight totes one chill one frozen six ambient uh 14 miles away heading back towards the store which is good so i'm ready for bed uh it's been quite a busy one today but uh not not too bad overall quite nice route i think when we get back we would have done a total of about hmm, about 110 115 miles driving today which isn't too bad at all it's quite quite a good amount that anyway let's get to it there we are so last delivery is now done these are the totes from it gonna pick up the labels from inside of the freezer so I don't forget to take those out in a bit, <laughs> in a bit. And also the two fridges. And then put these totes on the van and get going back to the store. So that sounds like a plan. There we go, nice and clean. And there we go, sorted. I'll whack these in the van and that is that. And that's me done for tonight, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the driving today. Some uh, night driving, some day driving, nice sunset in the evening. The sky's very clear as well. It's a shame there's quite a lot of light pollution around where I've been because uh, if it wasn't, I'm sure you could see some nice stars. But unfortunately, this isn't Wales. It's not Scotland, so you don't quite get that here. Anyway, uh, everyone, drive safe, and I will see you all, hopefully, in the next video sooner than later. See ya.